Once a year, a group of hand-selected drivers take on the toughest trail ride of their lives. This year's group must conquer the deep, dark woods of the northeastern United States. He said drive, and I drove straight into a tree. Adrenaline's definitely in. I'm a little shaky. Let's get through it, man. Only the toughest will survive this hell. Body damage and complete mental exhaustion are guaranteed. This is the Bee of Goodrich Tigers 24 Hellback Trail Challenge. Presented by HP Tuners. Brought to you by Flex, Rocks, and Rollovers. It's just obstacle after obstacle. There's no in between, nothing. And there's like even the easy trail, like the green trails here require 33s, lockers front and rear, and a winch. So otherwise, you can't even go on the greens. We are at the Field and Forest Recreation Area in Harrisville, New Hampshire, a 100 acre privately owned off road park that is one of America's best hidden secrets for extreme off road adventures, a true challenge for man and machine. Drowning, drowning, I'm off the deep end Apparitions of all my demons All my thoughts are committing treason All alone, who gon' hear me screaming? Ah! Manifestations of my fears Regrets that stretched out for light years Can almost touch the light, homie, it's right there Body free but trapped in my nightmares Body free but trapped in my nightmares Welcome everybody to the 24 Helen Back Trail Challenge here at Fields and Forest of Road Park in New Hampshire. I hope you guys all know what you're getting into. It's all about camaraderie, work as a team to get every rig safe through the 24 hours. We got a super diverse group of vehicles here from daily drivers, custom built Jeeps and Toyotas, rock crawlers, all the way to rock bouncers. Even though it's not a race, we have a friendly competition going on and that is our famous pink helmet that we're bringing back of course this year. So if you winch, brake, run out of fuel or fall asleep, you're going to wear the pink helmet until the next person messes up and then you pass it on. We're trying to cover as much ground as possible. We have a 24 hour time limit. That's the hard cutoff pretty much. So we want to cover as much as we possibly can. Please make sure you guys are wearing seatbelt and harnesses at all times and axle off road helmets whenever it gets tough, whenever there's a danger of potentially rolling over or tumbling down a hill. We want to see you guys get out of these woods in one piece and safe. All the drivers, step on forward. We got one special gift for you. Your watch for this year's 24 Helen bag. This is gonna be, has a timer pre-programmed in it with 24 hours in it. Before we leave here, we're all gonna hit the timer button. That way you can check at any given time how much time is left. Oh man, already earning my first pink helmet here right off the gate. You know, we just want to ease people into this whole thing. Pick something really simple just to, you know, loosen everybody up, get comfortable with the park and whatnot. And yeah, then this is what we get. <laughs>
I knew I wasn't gonna wear it for that one. Oh. <laughs> Here you go. Thanks. I'm gonna give you a bend before you hand it off. You're gonna sign it. Okay. All right. Sounds good. What do you think about this so far, Matt? Pretty rowdy. To be trying to do this stuff in a stock, I mean, not stock, but in a freaking JK with a stock roll cage. Yeah. Go left front, baby. Doesn't go right here. All right, too late. Too late. We're going this way. There's, oh, there went the flyer. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> yeah, no, and it doesn't even look that terrible from down it here. It doesn't look terrible, but it looks sketchy. So there's the line straight up, and you shoot it, or you come around and then turn by the tree and go up. Which I don't know what's sketchy. Dude. Straight up. I'm the straight up's less sketchy. Yeah. I'd rather be pointed where I want to go <laughs> than have to get on that hill and turn. <laughs> yeah. What's that, man? The good. mall parking lot's getting pretty mall rough these days. Mall parking getting bumpy. Yeah. There's a lot of bumps in the <laughs> We got her through. That's all that matters. Good job, dude. Thank awesome you. to see that thing make it through there. Thank you. Incredible. Thanks for the input. Do you have what a strategy happens? after seeing two people go by? Uh, just keep my tires on the rocks. The buggy's made for this kind of territory, so hopefully we'll uh, crawl right through there. Don't let off. Don't let off. Don't let off. Oh. I told you we needed to take that. Okay, so John's uh, hub exploded, something's wrong. I think the spring is broken in it. The hub has completely played and there's nothing in it. 
though the passenger side front tire is not spinning so he has uh, lockout hubs back at the trailer so we're going to do is pack him up have him drive back to the trailer and by the time we have the last rig through this section we have another obstacle coming up right around the corner which is going to take us a while to make it up there too by the time we're over there he probably is going to be able to catch up back with us and uh, be able to continue the day he brought hubs with him so he came prepared awesome i'm thinking that somebody's going to break an axle shaft before this 24 hours is over so it was pretty gnarly i mean i'm in one of the most capable rigs here and i mean even i struggled a little bit so you know this is going to be an interesting 24 hours I think it's your spotter, man. <laughs> I be. think it's Could the bad be. luck. <laughs> the, it's the bad luck Tony over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we don't know if it's a lockout or an axle shaft. We'll see what's going on. Either way, we've got parts for both. Hopefully it's not in the front locker, but we're going to test a few things. We're early on, so most likely we'll be back. right into the front of the cage. Can I get Can I back up farther so I can get a little higher? <laughs> so, see what had happened was, yeah, see what had happened was we were trying to save the windshield frame and I shouldn't have saved the windshield frame. I should have just piled drove it through it. And uh, I'm just hanging on my belt. <laughs> I wasn't expecting, no one told me if I backed up, it was just going to try to roll over. I know, I don't even honestly want to stand right here. You're, it ain't going to go over. Uh, it, it's, I mean, it's pinned on the bottom. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Nope. Just, you got some tree in every nut and oh you know it did break it. Oh no. It broke the mount off the side. Oh, so it's just dangling there? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> it, but it's wedged so it's okay. Can here come here. Oh I can see it. You can yeah, see it from the back right side. There. The shock? The air bump. The air bump. Oh gosh. Yeah. It's all right. You were three wheeling like every other rock. Yeah. It's because that, that tire was fully compressed no matter what I did. Oh, yeah, man, those because... tires were wrapping the rocks like a baseball glove. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was wild, man. That was front, uh, wild. Just to pocket. set the tone, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Just to set the tone. Right, I think we still got, yeah, we still got a bump stop there. It's fine. Oh, you have another one, dude. You're fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got one on the other side, so we'll just mess that one up equally. Technically, I have to wear the pink helmet. Oh, really? You do? Yeah, what would you do? I fell in this hole here at the very end, and we had to winch out, so I didn't break anything. Um, oh, but it was it was it was before you went. Well, then you need so to still. We need to keep the rotation. Then, do you have the marker? She needs to. Did you sign it already? It. I okay. So I wore it. Now it goes back to you because you went after me. Sorry. <laughs> For someone who's been here before, yep. doing something like this and advancing, what, what's your take? Just try to pick the right line. Every time someone goes through here, rocks move. Everything changes. It's never the same. Um, so when I did this trail last week, it's going to be completely different doing it again today. So every time here is always something new. Everything's changing constantly. So it's always different. Always a challenge. Nothing's ever easy here. So does that mean it's a discount since it keeps shutting off?
you guys entertained yet? Very. Yes, sir. <laughs> this is great. This is awesome. Good. All right. This Two more. Awesome stuff. Two more. It's wild. Uh, I'm not sure how it's gonna go, but we're gonna give it a best shot. See how that works out. <laughs> That was, uh, you didn't even touch the tree. Really? Yeah. Well, that's disappointing. I didn't even get a thing. <laughs> was that sketch? Uh, no, I've been sketchier places. It wasn't too bad. Crazy Allen is up next with his uh, four-door JK and 74-inch wide axles. This thing is wide. Brand new, fresh set of PFG stickies on it. First time out on him. And he just put an Atlas in this thing. So he worked on it all night, for, or several nights actually. So for them, this is going to be 48 hours of Helen back because he, I think he had an hour of sleep. about how that went oh it was smooth i know i know exactly how much drop this thing had so i i figured i could have done it i just don't do not want to hit my doors <laughs> i'm gonna see if i can live without scratch which is impossible looking good in the thing dude i know freaking you saw i was about to get up and my jeep died yeah i know right in the freaking Bro, you freaking killed it. That was awesome. Yeah. Dude. If my Jeep didn't die at the beginning, we I would have done it without freaking pink helmet. <laughs> you killed it, dude. I love your comment. What line you want to take? The gnarly one, of course. Of course. <laughs> so you brought a machine gun to a knife fight. I did. What do you I, think? I'm definitely glad I didn't bring my JK. I brought a rock bouncer. Um, this is very tight, technical with big boulders. So my goal is to try to keep my diffs off the rocks and make a good clean pass through here and hopefully make it look easy and not super difficult since uh, Toyota Unleashed Springs already went through there so
badass driving, dude. I feel like I Hell made that yeah. look a way harder than it was supposed to be. <laughs> I, I personally expected more out of it. I know. I expected more out of myself. I don't know what was going on there. That was it's slick. No and, spotting at all. Yeah, and it's but... like every time you you get forward, you think you're going somewhere, you smack your front dip into rock, and then your rear catches. Like it's some gnarly stuff out here. <laughs> Big boulders are not good with 14 bolts. <laughs> The nightmare of Elm Street continues, so to say, and now we're in front of this massive rock ledge. All right, man, what are you about to do? Uh, pretty much that left line, straight all the way up it. I'm gonna park up on it, smoke the front tires off, get them a little warm and juicy and uh, see if I can use a little bit of horsepower to just shoot it to the top. Caught a lot of traction in the BFGs and snapped an axle shaft. Real quick, tell me what happened, what's going uh, on? It didn't go to plan. I think I lost an inner inner shaft. I think you're right. So, I might go to the trailer and see if I can throw another one in it. I think I got one, so be back in a little bit, I guess. Okay, man. Awesome. We'll wait for you. Not in a million years this Jeep would have made that climb. I mean, it felt, even on the winch, I felt like I was just a fish on a hook. That's all this felt like. So absolutely right call on this one. No way. So that was freaking steep, holy cow. Even on a winch cable that felt sketchy, so. Too risky? Yeah, too risky. DOTs, no wheel cage. The stockade, I'm not, I'm not playing the game. My nerves are just a little too frazzled to attempt this without pulling mine. I'm not used to the steep slabs. I feel like if I backed up and I actually gave it a Washington one, she'd go, but it ain't worth it. Because <laughs> the last time I did a Washington bump, my rear driveline left the chat. This is steep. This ain't no joke. <laughs> I'm pretty much laying flat. <laughs> it's quite gnarly. If this was not so dug out, it might have a little more grip here. Oh. So, it's your turn now. So I'm gonna try the left line. It's a pretty big ledge, but I feel like if I get my front tires on it, that I can power through it. Um, the Ultra 4 car got up there and broke. So that makes it a little uh, sketchier. But uh, if I don't make the left line, I'll back down and surely I can make the right line. So we'll see. So, okay. Tom, this is my kind of stuff though. Technical hill climb, like this is where this thing's supposed to shine. So I'm gonna try to do my best to show it off.
Matt is just backing back down on it. Wasn't hard enough, he's gonna hit the other line. <laughs> I thought I would do it. That's what they're built for right there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Man, and you just backed that one, the other one just backed down it. I mean, what the hell? Ooh. That was awesome. Good girl. Rowdy. That's Rowdy. <laughs> hey, so please don't break it because you promised me a trip. Oh, yeah. So we're trying to get it. Don't worry. <laughs> There you go, sir. There you go, sir. I was gonna try to not to scratch my Jeep today. That was a freaking. That was so stupid, right? I can't believe I f***ed up like that. <laughs> That's not me, dog. It's all right. Jen rides got corner armor. No, I don't like it because they're heavy. I'm a lightweight guy. I'm standing at the entrance of Sucker Punch. This trail is absolutely gorgeous. I hope cameras can capture this. It looks like a freaking fairy tale down there. So we're gonna start off with a really steep drop and then go into a major rock garden with some really, really steep holes. So let's go.
for technical. For some reason, I have an air pocket in my steering or something, but every couple of turns, my steering is just stuck and wants to fight me and wants to slick back. Not just that it wouldn't turn, but it would also just like, the whole steering wheel would go the, do its own thing and jump in one direction. So I have no idea. We're gonna go take a look now. So next one is up. Let's go. Helmet and uh, we shouldn't have the pepper and the real tires. So the DOT's got a little stuck. So is what it is. Because that cap has pressure behind it. And how why why would that be? So this is a filter. Because yeah. you look at if you look at how high your fluid is, when you're tipped way on its side, this is your breather. So yeah. what it does is it sucks, it will it will it will allow fluid to come up this through here and into this. And it will soak this filter. Once it soaks the filter, it won't steer. And the only reason I knew to check this is because I had the same issue with Alicia's. Yeah. And dude, I could only get her ram to go halfway every single time and I had to replace that filter. Yeah, you're good now. And you did get hot. Just to let you know. What what get hot? Huh? The fluid got hot? Oh, actually, let's do this. I actually like this idea way more. Put it on here and then have it. So it's out. not point it somewhere where it's not onto this gem that is already the nemesis of me. <laughs> <laughs> makes the dream work <laughs> that was fun that was um, uh, definitely teamwork Brent was working the rear steer for me while I was listening to TJ tell me which way to put my tires and uh, crawled right through there moon buggy gets her done moon buggy gets her done good job <laughs> thank you
drive and I drove straight into a tree. <laughs> got it going on with his windshield in his life on this go around. He hit his windshield twice, broke the light bar completely off the mound, now shattered the windshield with the light bar. Still kicking though. I'm pretty sure it still works too. We're gonna test that out here in a second. Let me know if you think that this thing still works. Let's let's make some bets. Casey highlight, they don't care about rocks. It might not look pretty anymore, but let's see if this thing is still up and running. Questions that we all asking ourselves: Does it still work? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, if like five or six of them are out, the rest still works fine. Right where the bend is. Yeah. Oh, it bent the bar. Oh, oh dude. Oh yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> that, that was the lamest high five. I, I, I had snacks in her hand. <laughs> I had snacks in my hand. Those were life. Okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it felt really good. We got a little bit of cosmetic damage. You gotta assess when we get up here, but. It's okay, it's just a little soft. It's a little squishy now. <laughs> it's one of those squishy windows. <laughs> brought a knife to a gunfight. <laughs> uh, I'm all right with it, but this is this is a hole here. You, you, you're kind of looking at the ground. Yeah, I killed a light, didn't I? Yeah. No, right now it's good. Now, I mean, give it a couple minutes. We're not for sure yet. What's going on? Um, we're gonna we're gonna take a nap. I'm just okay. I'm pretzled up here. And what uh, what happened? Um, I ran out of talent. The, there's a the low talent lights on, and here we are. Looks like you uh, in a bit of a little jam. Yeah, I hope I'm making the Toyota boys proud right now. <laughs> See that you can really only do with a Toyota.
We laid it on its side, we pulled it back over, and uh, we started grabbing gears. Maybe it's done it that bad. Ish. Eating a burrito while doing this. Alan had a super clean run, basically just up until now. Super clean until now. The mat out here kind of looks like baby poop for some reason. I don't know why. There it is, there it is, that's it. He already has it. He already has it. Man, you gave it a hell of a try. Dude, you had such a clean run until here. Yeah, you had such it's a clean beca run. because it was just muddy. Yeah, once the tires got caked, like... So it was grabbing pretty good, but it slapped me back into that hole because it was too much. But it's fine. Good job. It was, I was pretty smooth going yeah, through Yeah, super it. smooth, dude. You had the smoothest run of all of them until here. Yeah, my engine is running like crap. Yeah. Oh, that's good. John, you're back. Yep, we're back. We're tell, back. Us, tell us uh, what happened, what did you have to do? So we broke an axle shaft, uh, passenger side axle shaft, and uh, luckily we had spares. We ran back to camp, uh, pulled everything apart, swapped it out, and we should be good to go.
just yawned. You just you, you yawned. just yawned. You yawned. <laughs> you yawned. <laughs> Marvin yawned. So not only is John pretty stuck right now, and we gotta winch him over here, but that tree right there, I don't know if you can see it, is about to come down. And
that thing is like, did you watch that? It just went. Well, Matt, what's going on? <laughs> well, Looks like they were not ready for full group. I got turtled, and then I busted a brake line, so now I'm going to vice grip my brake line and keep going. Okay. After I winch myself out, I guess. Yeah, all the new ones get 90 degree fittings there instead, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He can't drive over it center. <laughs> yep. Well, I didn't even have a winch on my buggy before this trip, um, but I heard where we were coming, and I mean, all these Jeeps and JKs kept getting stuck down here and have gotten everything muddy. <laughs> and so I ended up having to take a, a western line, and I got turtled. So. <laughs> This thing does have a long wheelbase and a big belly, so All right. it happens. So, pink helmet. We you know what's there. happening. Pink That's helmet! Good. I didn't see me wearing this. <laughs> so, this is the first hell and back where actually everybody's wearing a helmet. <laughs> Never had one. Probably we always had well, at least so one or two guys place. that made it clean through it without wearing the helmet. I, I had high hopes that he was going to be that one guy. Now it's not even dark yet and everybody's been wearing a helmet at this point. So. Dinner time. What are we? What are we um, making here in the kitchen? I cooked this chimney chicken and cheese chimney chonga. And I'm putting it in tin foil. And then we're gonna put it on the manifold and cook it. Yep. There's a the chef. We're letting the oven preheat right now. <laughs> yep. It is now. Let's see what time it is. 8.05. Yeah, we're taking a little dinner break. We're doing dinner on the trail this time. I brought a couple of jet bowls out and peak refuel meals. We got chicken alfredo pasta. We got beef pasta marinara. We got chicken teriyaki. We got homestyle chicken and rice. We got a bunch of meals. All we have to do is get water boiling, pour it in here, let it sit for a little bit. And we got a meal for two people in each of one of these bags. But I know everybody's hungry, so everybody gets a bath. <laughs> Beef pasta marinara, and this stuff smells delicious. Okay. You know? Okay. You can't hate on that. I see that. They're actually good, but if you eat about three of them, <laughs> Eat for an entire three-day weekend. Hell yeah. Oh, dude. What's hot? Dude, it's great. You pull the little dry pack out yeah, yeah, I think this was a good move. Instead of us wasting hungry. two, three hours with driving back and having oh, dinner and all this stuff, we're just going to have some dry food. Can't get much better on the trail. <laughs> Chipmunk or tamale? <laughs> or whatever. All right, this yeah. is Gene Pool. Only two people have ever climbed it, and it was bone dry, and there wasn't a hole in the middle of it. So, wish me luck.
close. You get that an A for effort, effort my friend. That was good. Yeah, All right. That was, that was nice. I'll nice get up on there. One more time. Do some winching. No, <laughs> he's good. He wants to winch. All right, tell me what happened here. That's slick and nasty. If it was dry, maybe it felt good a couple times, but we still got a lot of hours left and a lot of fun stuff down there, so I don't want to tear everything up now. That was a pretty good little beating that it just took, so I'm going to pull up on there, hook up the winch, and then we'll uh, we'll live to hit another another obstacle down the trail. You got real sloppy. Yeah. You started throwing mud everywhere. I was like, you know, I'm going to back on up. I know where this is going. We're just about to start the night stage and now we're about to take a massive drop off. It's about as tall as the Jeep is tall and pretty off camber with a cliff to one side. It's super sketchy. It's apparently a guarantee to take out a windshield. So we're trying to avoid that. Hopefully make it down there in one piece. And then it's been followed by a massive rock garden with another drop off and then a big climb at the end. So I'm kind of nervous, but I'm excited. Let's go. That section was freaking gnarly. That drop off was scary, scary stuff. But I made it and I didn't bust my windshield. That's all that counts. Super excited about that. So now we're setting up lights for the next section. Whew. It's not getting any better. Uh, we're like 10%, uh, 15% into the trail. Yeah. And we're gonna drop into the big uh, eight, 10 footer and drop down here before we get to the big rock crawl. Should be entertaining. DJ, what are you about to do? What do you suggest? Uh, don't flip. <laughs> now, what you, t I mean, tell me what you were just talking about. No, we're gonna drive her straight through. Instead of bringing her way up here, like all the other buggies, because she's so narrow, she's gonna fit a lot lower, kind of coming through. So it'll be a lot smoother for her. Okay, what about, about the second half? Camber. Same thing, pretty much. She's gonna yeah. just kind of drive right off, and we'll get her rear, once she's out there, get her rear over a little bit, and keep her square and level. 
as we can. How are you feeling so far? Feeling good. I'm surprisingly not tired. Okay, is that the adrenaline? Adrenaline's definitely in. I'm a little shaky. Okay, why are you shaky? Because I'm about to come off a like 10 foot rock. <laughs> Her rear, her rear is straight, right? Yeah. Perfect. I can't yeah. see him. What's up? Go. You're good? Yeah. Go a little passenger. How's your day been so far and what do you think about what's coming? Hey man, it uh it wasn't nearly as bad during the daytime, but this at like nighttime has added a whole new experience. Like there's e even though we can see the obstacles and stuff we're about to come up, but it just it adds that that factor of I don't I know I can feel my outside tires and kind of coming up these ledges and stuff, but I second guess it a lot more at night now. How are you feeling? Sorry, boys. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> I was like, it's barely there, and it's that stupid knot is what was holding it. <laughs> All right, man, you made it down. Yep, I gotta fix my light bar. What's going on? Harnessing up, and we're gonna get ready to drop off this wall. You got you nervous, or you just like I've sat here and thought about it so long that you're just ready to go? I'll be honest with you, I'm tired, and things are gonna get dented. Cause I care a lot less now than I did earlier, and I didn't care earlier. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's a high bar to hit. <laughs> Do you have anything you want to say to the camera about how late it is, your experience so far? It's one o'clock in the morning, I'm tired, and this is probably one of the best trails I've ever wheeled in my life. If anyone thinks that they could just come out here and do this, then this ain't for everybody.
back. Look how he's wet. Like, you couldn't have hit it yeah, yeah. perfect. Any more perfect. I don't damage my Jeep on that tree and I'm ready to go. Okay. Time is it tomorrow? 116. We got nine hours left. All right, we're getting closer. How's this event been for you so far? Good, good, long, long. All right, cool. That was cool. <laughs> <laughs> Slow and steady, though. We're getting there. Slow and steady. It's, we'll a, get lot, there. it's a lot of hard stuff, you know. A lot of rigs. Getting ready to do a pretty crazy downhill. Well, I think we've seen some people winch down it actually. It looks pretty hairy. We'll see how it goes.
is. Time to take a nap? That's about right. <laughs> Three o'clock? I don't know. I think we'll just go to sleep now and catch back up in a couple hours. Yeah. It's like, might as well sleep, get a nap now, and then, and then let's wake back up when it gets daylight, and then we'll, the rest of the 24 hours. That sounds like a plan. That way we can see at least. We are at the halfway, past the halfway point actually, it's 10.44. Now we're at the last third of Sucker Punch, at least as far as we're gonna drive it. Let's get through it, man. CJ just told me that this section got so dug out over the last few months that uh, you're basically driving completely onto your side, scraping your roof along the trees, and the gap in between the trees will probably get, get you to flop or tear, tear a lot more stuff up. So we're gonna see how it feels, but most likely we're gonna put a, uh, put a winch on a snatch block uh, onto my cage to keep me level in order to make it through there without severe damage or rollover. So we'll make that work. Okay. And after all this, I really wanted to complete this section with no assistance. 
We completely le leaned the freaking Jeep against the trees, slid alongside the roll cage just to make it through there, saved the light bar, it touched it, it made a cracking noise, but it didn't break anything yet, I think. Uh, but we made it all the way here, and now I have to pull cable because I'm wedged in, and now uh, my rear diff is completely hung up. Uh. This is absolutely no joke, and I'm not sure how many full body rigs have been through this, but I don't think it's been many. This is this is some gnarly stuff. There's a little rock garden here up, up ahead. It's kind of technical. Um, there's a little drop where some of the full body rigs have gotten pinned up against the tree, so I'm hoping to kind of bebop around that. That rig is so small, she should have a pretty easy time on this. I just kind of bebopped right through there with the rear steer, so it wasn't uh, nothing to be worried about. It was a piece of cake. Who's running this show, you or David? Huh? What is your name? Tony! You, Tony! <laughs> Hey, luckily it's the one that was already, right, you already got. All right, pass. You know, there's, look at the bright side. Alan. 
what uh, what happened back there? Oh, I don't know. Tell me about it. Just got into a tree? Yeah. Passenger. Oh wow. Really? Uh <laughs> hope you don't have a hard top. Cause it's not going back on. I mean you can straighten that out for the most part. It's not. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen a hell of a lot worse. Ah, uh, come on. I mean I wouldn't man. describe it as good. I could could have winched it all out. If I knew why you guys didn't tell me. Oh man, it was a good time. Like honestly, it didn't feel nearly as sketchy as I thought it was going to. As you can see, I got a pink helmet on. <laughs> uh, had to do a little winching. My my rig kind of just slid off a rock and it wasn't worth it. So we just popped me up that one little rock and then, but the main obstacle we walked right through and then all this stuff we walked right through. I think so. Yeah. I think it overheated. Yeah. What happened, Matt? It's just, I guess it's just isn't my trail, you know? I don't know. What's going on? I mean, you, you get on the wrong trail with the wrong wheelbase, and um, it'll humble you real quick. So the Toyota on Leaf Springs, just bebop through here, no problem. And I struggled the entire way. So I don't, I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm speechless, I don't say. Cow, but what did, how much did it take to even make that? It's unbelievable. All right, Mac, what you about to do? It's the sucker punch climb. What time is it? Uh, it is. 4:08 in the morning. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm a little bit, a little bit slow, but I'm still feeling pretty good. Confident enough to do this? Uh, yeah, confident to give it a couple good, couple good bumps and see how it goes. What do you think so far about the 24 Pelham back? Uh, whoever taught, and if anyone ever talks crap about it, man, like it's not about just like you're not out with your buddies on a trail system that you normally go to. And then on top of everything, it's all day long. It's not just straight wheeling. It's it's everything that goes into it. It's brutal. Like I understand why I watch the videos and freaking you watch people that are dead, like dead tired, people crashed in rigs and stuff like that. It makes absolute sense. What do you think? 
does, it, it feels like it just. You gotta like, as soon as the front wheel start climbing, hammer it and keep it straight. It just doesn't feel like it's hitting good off. You just hit the bit in the rear bumper. I'd say one more good attempt and then call it. Okay. It just feels like it walks so hard that I'm just, I'm, I let out of it. Which way do you think it walks? It walks to the left, which is weird because that's the high side. All right, well, we'll okay. give it one more. had a great time. The only thing that really psyched me out was that first huge slab. Yeah. I had some tears in my eyes at the top. I think it was tears of joy that it was over. Yeah, you finally did it. You got through it. You had a nightmare about it the night before. Yeah. Oh, man. It was definitely a winch fest. So everyone that had been here that I talked to told me that it would be a punch in the face. I was kind of prepared for that in that aspect. I'm not sure exactly how many times I winched, but I mean every single time it was necessary. This has got to be the most difficult wheeling on the East Coast. The videos and footage aren't, aren't going to do it any justice. I did not fall asleep once. Um, I'm probably on my fourth wind right now. I know it's going to hit me once we get on the interstate though. <laughs> they told me this moon buggy was made for this terrain and they weren't lying. I ended up making it here two hours before the uh, the event, so I'm basically like 48 hours in it. <laughs> but here it is, I finish. So that's all that matters. At the end of the trip, I pushed the winch too hard and I was not giving the throttle, so I broke an outer, but I was able to get out. This park is quite gnarly. If you're not ready to scratch your rig, don't even think about it. <laughs> I fell asleep around, what, like 6 in the morning or 5 in the morning? Something like and that, I yeah. remember Marvin say, hey, Alan, you up? So yeah, I was your next. So yeah, that was my favorite part. got into a buggy territory with a full JK. I had a great time, that's all I can say. Thanks for Marvin for letting me enjoy you guys and uh, thanks for the camera crew. Thanks for the spotters, you guys did great. And hopefully we can see you in the next one. Never in my life wheeled trails that insane with 
rigs like these, especially in a leaf sprung Toyota. Definitely one of the craziest parks I've ever been to. <laughs> anything a lot of body damage <laughs> a lot of body damage I had an absolute blast that was probably the most fun thing I've ever done in my life <laughs> I did fall asleep that's a that's a long ride uh, after we kind of blew through sucker punch uh, Matt was the last one to run waiting on him I, I dozed off for a good while CV shafts this this would not have been possible for sure you gotta thank Smeebolt for the new winch uh, we, we tested that out quite a bit insane experience if anybody gets a chance to do it it's it's wild can't even think of any other way to explain it Bag number four is in the books officially. I'm always exhausted afterwards. We all are always exhausted, but this time it's a special kind of exhausted. I don't know what it is, man, but I like I was sitting down earlier and just closed my eyes for a minute and it feels like I'm on, on a boat. Everything's moving the, the entire time. I'm beat. Yeah, New England is a doozy, to say the least. Field and forest is the real deal, man. I can't stress it enough. If you guys like rock crawling, this is the place. There is no right equipment for the trails that you have here. Like we had moon buggies, we had rock balancers, we had built Toyotas, we had built Jeeps, we had literally one of everything and everybody had to winch. The amount of body panels that got damaged in this place, oh my god. The Jeep show is definitely lost probably 10 pounds in paint. I still have my windshield and my light bar is still intact, which I'm very proud of. That was kind of a secret goal of mine. Again, if it would have gone, it would have gone. It's not a big deal, but it, it's just like, that was the one thing everybody told me, do not bring, even bring a windshield to this place. And I still rocked it. and. It's still in one piece, not even a cracked glass. I think this is the most winching I've seen in a 24 Helen This is definitely the most winching I've ever seen. Just the most struggle in general, even if you didn't necessarily have to winch, but how many times we had tree savers and recovery straps or on roll cages, five, six guys pulling on it, trying to get it off something. Man, it was just hard work. The camaraderie and the teamwork in this one was on point. I never fell asleep at a Hellenbeck, not one time. And no, I'm too, this is my baby. I'm not falling asleep here. Like I have too much responsibility. I have too much stuff going on in my head. I have too many things to remember. I'm not falling asleep at a Hellenbeck.
just before this event. Didn't think I would ever use it. I use it like five times. Um, this place is nasty, field and forest. I'll have to bring some bouncers back up here and, and play for sure. Highs is probably spanking three hill climbs that nobody else could get up. That was that was the highs. Lows was probably sucker punch when everybody had made it through and I literally just like kept hitting every single rock on the way out. It, it hit me pretty good about three in the morning and then it was actually worse when we got on the last trail. I like made the mistake of going up there and sitting out on a rock and, and checking out what was going on, doing a little video and, and I, I about fell asleep a couple times sitting on that rock. And so I finally made myself get up and start walking around. So it was it was a close one this year, but I didn't sleep any. What happened? Well, the guy is so sloppy. Again, y'all been having me go last this whole time. What do you have to say for yourself? Well, if there's a way to end a show, I think end That's it with fun. a bang. great time and you know it's just one of those things you'll, you'll never forget these things you know that's me and Jamin we go do crazy stuff all over the place and this is the stuff we'll talk about when we're old and nursing homes and we'll have the best stories to tell you know everyone had to wear the helmet everyone had to winch so it was it was a pretty level playing field for sure now putting me at the back of the pack got me a bunch of times like because it got slicked up you know everybody having a hard time getting through stuff so wasn't a big fan of that but we made it work and had a good time either way like watched every single episode and all of that and yeah there's some stuff you're like oh that doesn't seem as bad but it's brutal when you're on hour 20 and all you want to do is finish and then someone gets stuck you have to fight every ounce of your being to not be mad at them but to band together and 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 keep moving to get to the end we came down with that goal to finish and thought we brought a rig that could and I think we succeeded in that. Is that better? That's better. <laughs> no, I did not fall asleep at all. I am I'm, I'm actually kind of proud of that. Like I tried my best. If if I can give any advice to anyone, it's stay out of your rig as much as possible. Hang out with the camera guys, hang out with the crew, help out with recovery. Whatever you can do to stay out of your rig is the best way. Because if you sit in that thing, if you sit in, if your seats are comfortable and you sit in your rig for more than 15 minutes, it's hard not to fall asleep. It was a hard 24 hours for sure. Uh, yeah, I definitely, yeah, I would do it again, but it was definitely hard. 24 hours of wheeling is a lot of wheeling. Uh, it was everything I thought it would be, actually. Uh, crazy variety of people from this to full on rock bounces over there. So I'm thankful for the invite. It was really cool. We, we struggled to get through some parts, but it was awesome to, to see all of it and to, to go through there. I, I did, I took two little like five minute naps. I'm not gonna lie and say I didn't, I, I did. I dozed off 
in there and uh, it wasn't the long ones but they were probably two five minuteers uh, on the steering wheel real quick when you sit in the jeep uh, when i put the heat on in the jeep that was it i had to get out and walk around once you, once i sat in the jeep I, i wanted to go to sleep marvin always has a great way of picking really good guys and unbelievable places to go it's always a pleasure to be here with you guys that was a whole new ball game for me you know the filming and, and, and people with cameras and lights everywhere and everyone's watching you and it's kind of cool and watching the drones all fly around that's also pretty cool you're seeing the drones do it and they go in between the rigs all oh, that was was pretty cool I, that was a whole new experience for us it was a pretty wild trail ride um, definitely a little more than I was expecting for sure kind of a long time to be out there 24 hours. I only made it maybe seven, seven, eight-ish, but I was still out there pretty much the whole night. They drove their heart outs for 24 hours, essentially. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They oh, did yeah. everything they possibly could to do what they needed to do. Some of those rigs don't belong on those trails. And they made it work. And they made it work. I think we've all been stuck in the woods overnight and I thought it would be something like that but this is it's beyond that. Definitely underestimated what it took to make it happen to stay up for 24 hours yeah. and do it again in a heartbeat yeah. but not tomorrow. Did you guys fall asleep at any point? Nope. Nope. I couldn't too much action. Your personal opinion for those who don't know about you guys what would you say there are hard trails in new england yeah, yeah. there you go participating for beating your rigs up and for coming from all across the country to be part of this awesome event. This is the Bee of Goodrich Tires 24 Hellback Trail Challenge presented by HP Tuners brought to you by Flex Rocks and Rollovers. Push it to the limit, I can't go no more.